My name's Graham and I've got a problem. A fishy one. Well, not really. I'm just a little bit obsessed with this tank. I know I showed you a video last week of this tank um, setting it up again. But I've been messing about with it a little bit more. I've moved across pretty much all the corals that I had in the big tank, which is over there. And I don't know, I'm just finding it a lot easier to keep everything looking happy. I know this guy right here doesn't look very happy, but he wasn't very happy in the other tank either. But I think it's just... It's so easy to do a big water change and use the natural seawater on a small tank um, because it's just... Because it's so small, I can get three or four big water changes out of one barrel of seawater. And the corals just seem to love it. I know they don't look the best at the moment, but that's because they knew I was going to do some filming. Just a little bit obsessed with this. Let's have a look under the blues. It looks quite nice, I think. But anyway, this video is not about salt waters or nano tanks, it's about a Fahaka puffer that won't stop eating. So let's go and have a look. Hello everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe link so you don't miss any future videos. Today I just want to concentrate on the puffer fish a little bit and have a look at that and talk about what's going on down there. Remember if this is your first time here, click that link down there, subscribe and the little bell notification. Um, you'll make sure you don't miss any videos in future. And check out the links in the description as well. If any of them are useful, let me know. Back in the fish room once again, let's have a look at this awesome little guy. I think he's grown massively in the last month or so that I've had him. I think he's grown massively since we first got him. He's just so full of character. Every time you come in, he's straight out to see you to say hello. He will eat anything and everything that you put in there except dry food and pellets, unfortunately. I'm sorry for all the jump cuts, but it keeps losing focus all of a sudden, this camera. But anyway, I've got a bit of a dilemma. I'm not normally into live feeding. But, I do have a bazillion guppies, and they've got to go somewhere, and this guy really likes them. So I thought I'd do a bit of a feeding video, if nothing else it can open the debate and help me make my mind up whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, his diet consists of, I'm saying his, I don't know if it's a male or a female at all. His diet mainly consists of snails at the moment. Uh, I've got some ram's horn snails, or I had some ram's horn snails, and some pond snails. Uh, and that gets mixed in with some blood worms, with some shrimp chopped up. He's had some cherry shrimp as well, and he's also had a few guppies. Now the reason, I don't normally like feeding live food but I do know my guppies are clean and I do know they're well fed so I know that if I gut load them he's going to be getting quite a good meal and it does help me keep an eye on or keep a lid on the guppy population but and again I don't really like live feeding but anyway I've also had this guy here he's fantastic he'll follow you around I talk to him all the time, but <laughs> he actually jumped out of this tank into this tank. Thank God he went that way and not this way. Um, so I must remember to put the lids back on when I'm finished in here. But this tank here is the Stairby Corridoras, which you can probably see down there. He didn't touch any of them, but this is also the tank I was using to breed my ram's horn snail colony, and he did touch them. So I no longer have a ram's horn snail colony. 
and he's very well fed. But anyway, let's chuck in a guppy and we'll see. I've got my guppy and cherry shrimp tank. These are the, they're not culls, because obviously I'm not culling them. But what I'm doing is I pick out the ones that I like out of this tank and move them into the smaller tanks. Um, so these are the ones that either I haven't picked out yet or just aren't very high quality or I didn't like the look of or who knows what it could be but generally what I've been doing and the reason I, the, the way I found this the first time is I went in to get a snail um, try not to get the fry and I accidentally caught a, a couple of cherry shrimp just like I've just done there and a guppy and went into here you'll see the cherry shrimp is going out oh I don't even know if I caught that it's so fast so there's a guppy up here And when he sees them, he usually hunts them down. So he's gulfed down one, he's just spied that other one, and it's gone. And he will go round and hunt them. Uh, I don't know if he's seen the cherry shrimp, but there's a cherry shrimp just on that heater there. On the filter, rather. And that's gone as well. Oh no, you missed. He's a pretty good hunter. So that's part of my theory is this hunting instinct. It's got to be a good thing. Surely? Yes? No? Let me know in the comments what you think. But this guy, he will go around hunting things. Oh, he's found the shrimp and he's... God, I'm a terrible cameraman. He's just annihilated that shrimp. So I'm feeding him some guppies, I'm feeding him some shrimp, I'm feeding him some actual chopped up frozen raw prawns, some bloodworms, and I've even tried, I dropped in a, a cichlid pellet that that floats and he had a go at it but as soon as he realised it wasn't actually real food he kind of gave up on it stay in focus god damn you so he's I've tried him with dry food with various pellets he's had a go and then after that one go given up But like I say, he did migrate into this tank, jumping over and he didn't touch any of the fish in here. He did eat all the snails, mind you, but he didn't touch any of the fish in there. Which makes me think my plan to house them in this big tank should work quite well. Now he's going to live in here with the black ghost knife fish, which you can't see because it's all so manky. Um, but he's going to live with the black ghost knife fish in there. I think they'll get on just fine. Or, I'm possibly wondering about putting them in this tank for a while to grow them out. But I'm not sure, this is the rainbow tank. But I think he's at least doubled in size since I've got him. But he literally won't stop eating, so if I was to put enough food in there, it'll get to the stage where he can't actually get off the floor of the tank. And he ends up just dragging his big fat belly around. Just like his owner. So that's it this week, just wanted to show you how the puffer was getting on, um, we definitely need to come up with a name for him, my daughter still wants to call him Blowy, but I'm dead against that, for reasons she will understand when she gets older no doubt. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, what, what are your views on the live feeding debate, is it a good thing, is it a bad thing, is it excusable or not, um, I think it's good for the fish. And that's got to be a good thing, but who knows? I'm not an expert. 
Anyway, thanks for joining me. Make sure you click that subscription button and the bell notification icon. Make sure you don't miss any videos in future. And let me know what you think down below. Um, it's always good to hear everybody else's opinion. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.